Hi guys, my name is Mary Stuart Noel and I am the owner and founder of Bustin' Don't Chills LLC. Today I'm making this video guys because um, this is something that I've been uh, meaning to talk about. It's about uh, throne chair transport. And uh, I feel that uh, this portion of throne chair care is probably at the top, like very vital when it comes to uh, throne chairs. And um, this particular video was inspired because someone had purchased a throne chair uh, from us. Uh, it's one that sits two people. So we needed to hire a company outside of um, us to do the work. So we explicitly requested a pickup truck. But uh, what ended up happening was that it wasn't a pickup truck that came. It was a van and a double CT high back throne chair would not fit and a van, it doesn't matter how long it is. It's just, it's the height. So you need that clearing space. So most high throne chairs, they go um, all the way to 72 inches in height. You know, that is like over six feet. So you want a truck that will accommodate the clearing space. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video now of what happened. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to come back and then we're going to talk about all the options. Okay. So as you can see, uh, it was a double CT throne chair, that throne chair is 70 inches in height they can go all the way to 72 inches in height could it get into the van so luckily for us he did have these different mounts on top of the van so was able to put it on there drove 38 miles okay and delivered it she's saying hello okay for your throne chair business if you want to invest in a vehicle I would like to give you a suggestion. But before I start giving you guys my suggestion, I would like to also tell you guys that you do know that you don't actually have to go out and invest in a vehicle if you're just starting out your business. Whether you have a sedan or you have a small car or you have a small truck, whatever you have, start with what you have and you will be able to be successful that way i started with a toyota yaris that has five doors and then it's a hatchback so you can uh open the back of the car and you can throw a chair in there so if i can start with a small tiny toyota yaris hatchback you can start with anything now let me start with the kind of vehicles if you're looking to invest in and the kind of vehicles that i have used in this business and then what they're good for we have minivan van pickup truck box truck sprinter van and mini truck so each one of those service vehicles what i did was i've given you some examples on how many items, how many chairs you can fit into each one of them. So if you have the six different type of chairs that I've listed on there, which are child throne, petite throne, a high back, lion, egg back, and then we have a double CT. There is a seven type. It is the sofa type, which is longer but not necessarily higher. Now, I didn't go over that seventh type. If you are going to be investing, you know, what vehicle, it is the end of the year, you know, it's good to invest so that you can get some tax break. What vehicles can you use to grow your business further for your deliveries? 
and uh, there is uh, one of the vins there i put sprinter vin and i specifically call it sprinter vin because it's one that i have extensive experience with you know a sprinter vin can take up to 16 chairs it depends on how you put it together how many doubles you have in there how many singles you have how many children thrown you have and if you have someone riding with you or not and as you grow there are parts of your transportation that you will have to outsource they are part of your of your transportation that you will have to keep in house but overall keep in mind that um there are tax breaks that do come with having your own vehicle and um it's something that can also help you with you know being reliable and building trust with your customer base when you outsource you know you risk things can go wrong a lot of times things can go right but um sometimes keeping things out you know in-house can kind of tighten up your business especially at the beginning as you're building up to build trust so if you guys want to see more videos on throne chair care and throne chair transportation please comment and let me know exactly what you want to see i always say that guys if i've had the experience and i remember to videotape it and share it with you i always will but at the same time if you're giving me suggestions it's also gonna nudge me so that i will have you know more content um to share with you because you know this is things that you're requesting so i hope you guys are having a wonderful happy holiday season Take care of yourself, keep smiling, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.